Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June 5th of 2022. Well, it is titled Two Black Holes Dancing in 3C75. So what do we see here? Well, this is actually the central region of an active galaxy. An active galaxy is in many ways like an ordinary galaxy. However, it has a tendency to be much brighter and emitting more energy than a typical galaxy. And it emits a different type of radiation. Its radiation is what we would call non stellar. It's not just the combined light of all the stars. There's a lot of higher and lower energy radiation that is being emitted. And that's what we're looking here in the blue we see x rays very high energy light. And in the pink we see radio very low energy light. And the, we're looking close to the center and we're seeing two supermassive black holes. Now of course black holes themselves are not visible but we can see the accretion disks and the material around them as it begins to spiral into the black hole that is what produces all of the energy and is in fact what energizes active galaxies is the black hole at the center. Now here we actually see two of them. So there are two black holes and we can determine that they are actually bound together in an orbit. Now this could likely be because of two galaxies that combined. So we're looking at two galaxies combined together in the central regions. Their cores are now in the process of combining as well. And eventually those two black holes will merge together and give off a burst of gravitational waves. So very uh, intense energy of gravity that can be pushed off when two very massive objects combine. Now gravitational waves are actually produced by any object with mass that's moving. However, they are so weak that they're hard to detect. And the way we detect them now is through very massive objects such as these black holes when they merge together and we see the tiny distortions that they call that they cause within uh, our gravitational wave detecting instruments here on Earth. So here we're seeing these in the process of combining together. Of course, this can take a long time, can take hundreds of millions of years or longer for galaxies to combine. So we're not just seeing the very last stage. They won't combine together tomorrow or next week or next month. We are looking at quite a while as their orbits slowly decay and they become closer and closer together. We also see the pink regions, which are jets of material being expelled out of the black holes, not the black holes themselves, but those accretion disks around the black hole before the material reaches the point of, of no return. It can some material is expelled outward perpendicular to the disk. So those those we see here in the pink and they're all twisted and turning because of the orbits of those two black holes around each other. So they were in different positions at different times when that material was emitted millions of years before. And that's why we see not perfectly straight uh, jets coming out but actually twisting and turning ones because of that orbit. So that was our picture of the day for June 5th of 2022. It was titled Two Black Holes Dancing in 3C75. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Milky Way Doomed. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.